From here on in, we get serious! Understood? Enter a world of excitement and adventure! Where are we? Using your wits to avoid being on something's lunch menu. What in the world is that? It's like a jungle out there. Jumanji Wednesdays, 20 past four on CITV. Hi, my name's Imani. I want to wish Stephen and Danielle good luck for their show on CITV. Oh, Imani, thank oh. you very much. We actually think you should have won the uh, Eurovision Song Contest, yes, we by do. the way. Animal Ark is coming up very soon, but talking of animals, you know, have you seen that going round? I know. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. He has been running around the studio all day, you know, and talking of Animal Ark, by the way, as well. Manly will be popping in. Her real name is Carrianna Henderson and she's going to set a competition as well, but we can see her now. Practicing your backhand. Don't feel like it. Come on now, you'll only upset your father. Well, that's not hard, is it? That's not fair, Andy. He's got a lot on his mind at the moment. We both want you to do well with your tennis. I don't want to play tennis, and I don't want to move house. It's everything for him, Andy. He's worked very hard for this chance. You know how much it means to him. So. So it means your father will be manager of one of the biggest football clubs in England. It also means that I can't keep Dorian and Ivanhoe. Dorian! Oh, he knows. Of course he doesn't, darling. He does, he knows. And so does Ivanhoe. That's why he's ill. Hello. Stephen? Stephen, can you get Dorian out of here, please? It's all right. No, it's all right. Nothing but an old nuisance. And that's picked a perfect time to get ill. Mandy, you talk to Ivanhoe. Keep him calm. It's OK, boys. It's OK, Ivanhoe. What's the matter with it, anyway? Ivanhoe's often it. It's all right, Mandy. Stephen, can I have a word? He's got a slight touch all of panic, right. and I've given him something to help it. It should start to ease in a few minutes. What do you mean, should? I'm just about to sell him. Well, let's hope it's nothing more serious. How's Ivanhoe? I think he's going to be OK, Andy. She thought as much about her tennis as she does about that horse and that old donkey. I'm going to miss them so much. Donna's no idea. Feels like they've been around all my life. Mm. Wish you could take them with you. So do I. But Dad says you don't keep livestock in the city and I've got to concentrate on my tennis. You know what he's like. Mum! Better look. Oh, that's wonderful. Well done, Adam. Mr. Greenway, have you found a new home for Dorian yet? No, but I've got one for Ivanhoe. You'll have to hang on to it for a day or two to make even the all clear. Now, does he have to go? Andy, we've been through all this time and time again. Andy's coach says she's got real potential. And we're moving... And we're moving to the city. You can't keep a horse and a donkey in the city, can you, Andy? My dear, it's what I always say. One's not safe anywhere these days. Oh, I quite agree. And the last thing that Welford needs are those travelling boxes. New age travellers, my dear. Plain and simple. Bye. See you later, sweetheart. Hello, Mandy. Mandy, dear, we were just saying how awful it must be for your poor grandparents with those some um... new age travellers, my dear, thieving rogues and vagabonds. Yes, travellers living practically on their doorstep. Gran doesn't mind. Besides, it's common ground. Anyone can use it. But Mrs. Parker Smythe tells me there are hundreds of them. And um, three to be exact. Five if you include the two dogs. But he has long hair. And an earring. <gasps> Better lock them up then and throw away the key. Something has to be done. Come along, Mrs. Parker Smythe. Come along, Toby. <coughs> right. Uh, Mrs. Falls 
Forsyth and Ferdinand. Oh, can you think, please? Look! Oh, wow. Look it! Dorian, what are you doing here? Oh, isn't he lovely? What's the matter with him? Nothing. Nothing at all. If that's the case, you better get him out of the surgery and back home. You must have been very frightened to end up on my doorstep like that. The beautiful donkey. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll find a new home. Oh, that was you. Fancy race? Ha ha, very funny. No, I'm taking him home. Mwah. Oh, yuck. How could you do that? Beauty is only skin deep, Susan. Yes, Mandy. That's what plain people always say. Don't listen to her, Dorian. <laughs> Oh, oh yes, Gran and I can't wait. <laughs> Any excuse for a holiday, eh? Hi, Gran. <laughs> Hiya, Mandy. This is Sky and Jason. Well, can I have a ride? Me too, me too. Yeah, yeah, in a minute. This is Dorian. Yeah. Here, here's to <clears throat> give the children rides uh, on the beach at Seagate for years and years, and they retired him, put him in a, a lovely home for donkeys, and that's where Mrs. Greenaway found him. Now they're getting rid of him. Donkeys live a long time, Mandy. Children grow up and sometimes they grow out of their faithful friends. I know, but it's not like that with Andy. She loves Dorian. Well, where shall we go then? Over the hill. Oh, no, you don't, Tom. We've got the packing to finish. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, well, she's the boss. Thanks for the water. Bye. Hey, my name's Jude. Hi, I'm Andy. Please meet you. Your grand's told me all about you. Very good about you, too. Not all good, I'm sure. Well, we seem to like you already, don't we? <laughs> I really am a sucker for donkeys. <laughs> oh, what is that thing? Hey. You should meet our dogs. Join Spider. Come on. Ooh. Hey. Hello. Hey. Oh. Hello there. Hey, Mandy. Ooh, thanks. I can't find him anywhere. Well, that's solved one problem then, hasn't it? Stephen, you're not helping. Dad Dorian's old. He deserves to be looked after. Please help me find him. Andy, I've got enough trouble without that stupid donkey. Well, that's it then. I'm never picking up another tennis racket again. If I had my way, I'd have had that donkey turned into glue. Stephen! Oh, great. It's back! <laughs> What's the matter with you today? Your game seems to have gone pear-shaped. You're not still thinking about Dorian, are you? I bet her dad made her play. Mandy! I just saw Ivano going off with his new owners. Doesn't waste any time, does he, Mr Greenaway? He's getting rid of Dorian separately. Oh, don't take it so hard. We know how much you love animals, and but it's not your donkey. It'll sort itself out, don't you worry, Mandy. We'll send you a postcard. Okay then. Have a good time. <laughs> Bye. Come on, Bye. Tom. He's right, really. But no one else cares. Wow, what a shot. Well, she is good. Hey, where are you going? We'll see him again next week. Hey, who's next? She's getting ridiculous. We're ready for you now, Miss Ponson. Thank you, dear. Suddenly, I'd like to have Pandora looked over. She's been in contact with the traveller's dogs, and I'm sure she's caught something. 
As you know, Pandora is a very delicate. Oh, little... Mrs. Ponsonby, I'm sure you're worrying unnecessarily. Thankfully, they won't be around much longer. I've set the wheels in motion. I'm sure Pandora's fine, Mrs. Ponsonby. The summer's dog seemed perfectly healthy. I saw them earlier with Jude. Are you telling me you've spoken to them? Simon, I'm surprised at you. Well, if that's all, Mrs. Ponsonby. Come along, Toby. Simon, what does she mean? They won't be around much longer. The summers are really nice. Oh, she's probably trying to get them moved on. She's like a lot of people. Afraid of anybody who's different. <laughs> Come on, let's see who's next. No, no, Mandy. And don't worry about Dorian. We'll sort something out. And I'm locked. Hello, Miss Bray. A what? Oh no. Yes, yes. Okay then, I'll be right up. Come on. Good morning. He's in the conservatory eating yuckers. So who's got the umbrella? Yeah. Take him back, Mandy. No, I don't. If I do, her father will only send him to the knacker's yard. And that's why Dorian keeps running away. You think he sends her something? Of course I do. I mean, they may be stubborn, but he's not stupid. Well, we can't hide him in Welford, that's for sure. We've got to do something. I bet you wish you were back at Seagate, don't you, boy? Well, we're hardly likely to get him back there. Well, why not? I mean, all we have to do, really, is... Mandy, look. I knew it. Gotta be going. Someone's been complaining. Where to? It doesn't really matter. Wherever we go, our home goes with us. I wish I could say the same for Dorian. I bet I know who's behind all this. Oh, Susan. Now there's someone with room for a donkey. You can't ask her. Hi, Susan. Hi. How are you today? I've got no choice, James. <clears throat> you and Prince are looking in top form today. That's not a rat. Get to the point. Can you look after Dorian? How long? Forever. That's ridiculous! You must be joking. Could you at least just take him for one day in your stable? That way, that'll give me enough time to... To what, Mandy? But... OK, it's just for a day and night. I've got a plan. Oh, my mum will kill me. How exciting! <laughs> <laughs> Mandy, are you OK? You seem ever so quiet. Well, actually, I was thinking about the summers. What about them? I think Jude would make a good gardener. So? I hate the fact that they're being moved on when the Spryers need a new gardener. I think that's a very good idea. Have you told him? Not yet. There's a knife, Mandy. Hey. Oh, I knew this was a mistake. What? It's Dorian. He's gone. Gone? Uh, the last time I saw him, he was heading down the tennis courts. Great. Dad, I'm going to need your help. Right. You go down to the tennis courts, and I'll meet down there and get to James. What's wrong? It's Dorian. He's escaped again. Mm. And it's all my fault. There's no sign of him here, Mandy. What do you do with 
Yes, good. Good. Come on. Yeah. No. Dorian probably has more sense than to turn up here with him around. <laughs> Let's look down by the church. Oh, no! Dorian! 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 Now, don't call him over. He's who to ruin the court! I don't care about the court! Get out of here! Dorian! Dorian! Get out of it! Go on! Back up to Manor Farm now. I can have a go. And first thing tomorrow, it's a market for you. That you can't! Oh, he hasn't done anything to deserve that. Thanks a lot for your help, Jude. Mandy, I think it's time we had a chat. Can you just give me a minute? Come on. I don't know if I did the right thing there. Wow. Well, Save Mrs. Ponson. <gasps> They've made new friends, Mrs. Ponsonby. Lucky Jude was still here, or things could have been much worse. Yes, I suppose they could. <laughs> Interesting little things, aren't they? What breed are they exactly? <laughs> bye, bye. And you went for me. Oh, how did it hurt? I'm oh, sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. It's not your fault. At least you tried more than I did. Ah! Oh. So was he really mad then? That's putting it mildly. Mr. Greenway is the kind of man who doesn't appreciate being made to look foolish. I didn't try to make him look foolish. You took things out of his hands, Maddie, and you had no right. I was only thinking of Dorian. I thought if I could get him back to Seagate, then the donkey people would have to take him back. You were going to trek off across the country with a stolen donkey. Mandy, what were you thinking of? Didn't think it through properly, did I? I know you were trying to help, love, but you've just made things much worse. I know I was stupid. And I'm really sorry. But what do we do now? Well, I've been phoning around and... Oh, I knew you'd help. And I spoke to Betty at the sanctuary and she might be able to take him. So I mentioned it to Steve. And what did he say? He told me to mind my own business. Donkeys aren't worth very much. That's why so many end up in the knacker's yard. So we thought if we bought Dorian, then we could take him to Betty's when she's got a space. Oh, brilliant! I'll phone him now. I think we've all had enough for one day. Oh, but... uh, I'll phone him in the morning. Uh, Stephen, it's Adam Hope. What? We'll be right over. What is it? What's happened? Dorian's gone missing again. I don't believe it. Only this time it's worse. And he's gone too. She left this note! I just don't know what's going on. It's only a donkey. It's not just a donkey this time, Stephen. It's our daughter as well. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Look, we'll split up and search. And if we don't find her soon, we'll just call the police. Come on, let's take it away. Ridden him. I'll walk it and see if I can pick up the trail. Good idea. Check into Animal Ark as soon as you can, Mandy. Mandy! Mandy! 
I'm glad you found me. I didn't have time to go looking for you. <laughs> I've just seen your mum. Do you really think Annie's dad will go through with it? Yes, I do, and she couldn't bear it, so she ran off, and now I don't know where her or Dory is. You two okay? Good in hands with you. On a donkey. I can't believe she'd do this. And just so we found him a new home. She made us promise not to tell. But I suppose Miss Dorian's got a new home. They went towards the Valley of the Giants. Take it from here. Well, we're going to need all the help we can get. Hop in, everyone. We'll see you there, dude. If you go up the valley, if you go that way, Annie and James, you go over there, and I'll go back this way. All right. Take care, everyone. He's Dorian. Well, where is he? Uh, hey, there he is. Uh, Dorian. Uh, Where's Andy, boy? Take us to Andy. Uh, Andy, where are you? It's us. Mom, who's that you? I'm coming. Hang on. Where are you? I'm down here. I think my arm's broken. Oh, Andy, it really hurts. I'll go and get help. We'll get you out as soon as you can. Oh. 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 Here, see if you can climb into this. I got it. Much longer. Not now. <sighs> yes, of course. If anything happened to you. Oh, we were so worried. Let's get into the hospital. But what about Dorian? He led us to Andy and pulled out the hole. We'll look for him in the morning. First things first. But he saved my life. Yeah, she's right. We owe that donkey. You take it to the hospital, I'll start looking. Any luck? No, but we'll keep looking till we find him. Andy. Everything will be just fine. I'm sure it will. No, it won't. Even if they do find him, we still haven't got a home for him. Andy! Andy! Dorian! You found him! I think I may have found him a new home, too. Where? Well, on the way here, I bumped into Jude. I think this has worked out rather well. Jude is going to do the garden here two days a week. And the rest of the time, he's going to give donkey rides to the village children. Oh, look. Oh, isn't he lovely? When he isn't eating the yuccas. Oh, he takes me back to our summer holidays. Donkey rides and helter-skelters. <laughs> take care of him, Jude. He's a special donkey. 
A very special donkey. <laughs> A very special donkey indeed, but listen to this, our very first guest here on CITV. Who better than Carrianna Henderson, who Thank plays you. Mandy in Animal Rock. What's it like watching yourself? It's really, really strange, because you don't really realise it's yourself. Right. But, I don't know, it's just it's, really weird. It's great, isn't it? You know, you, you're, the, you're the main star in, in such a popular series. It's fantastic. How did you get the part? Well, uh, my agent got me the audition, right. I went out for four auditions, and yeah. I basically found out I got it, which Fantastic. is wonderful. Fantastic, which is, you know, obviously you couldn't believe it. No, I was absolutely amazed. Right. Really, really Now, you've funny. actually brought in some brilliant, you've brought the set of Animal Art books, okay? Yep. This, in fact, is the one that we just watched, Donkey on the Doorstep, that's part of the set. There's 37 books in the set, is that right? Mm -hmm. yep. And um, also you brought some story tapes as well to win. Yep. Um, but you've got a question. Well, what's the question? I have. What is the name of James's dog? Right, what is the name of James's dog? Now, if you think you know the answer, then send the address, uh, not send the address, of course, send your entries, I should say, into the usual address, which is, of course, CITV, PO Box 4000, Birmingham B1 3JL. So we, we know what it's like to be in a big series. Do you get recognised in the street? And I do get a few little kids going, Mummy, is that the girl of Adam a lark? And I'm like, no, no. Uh, really? Do you, do you not like that? It's just, I don't know. It's weird. It's just really, really strange. Well, listen, thank you very much indeed for coming in. You've been thank a brilliant you. guest. But now it's over to Danielle. Danielle! Thanks, Stephen. And just a reminder of that question, which is, what is the name of James's dog? If you watch Animal Arc, you will know that. But next, it's Timmy Towers!